Hello everybody, this is Stray Gamer back to kick off round one for group F of my tournament. Starting off with one of the standout matches of the round. LP Gozzi going up against Cheer Knights. Team Africa going up against Dino Fans. And then we conclude with Hex going up against Mr. Dinosauria. So some good matches to tuck into. So let's get let's get on with our first matchup, shall we? Ooh, we're in the Colosseum, which suits nobody because nobody here has a secret dinosaur. So, <laughs> get rid of this. Get rid of my cheat sheet. <laughs> I mean, it's not a cheat sheet. It's just it's to remind me of the rules. <laughs> right in the red corner for the Gosman, we got Terry, of course. It's always going to be Terry. Well, I'm sure you all cast your mind back to that epic last. Was it last 16 or last 32 matchup? I think it was last 32 matchup. Where it ended in a draw and I had to make up rules on the spot. <laughs> but don't worry, I got a contingency plan in place just in case that happens again. And if you don't know what happened, feel free to check out the video. It was quite an epic match. Right, backing up the Terry, we have the Ceratosaurus with no win moves. Right, in the blue corner for Cheer Knights. Who is Crown over, by the way? And he insists on me letting you all know there is a tag team between him and Kara, even though nobody's going to care. So we have this Amargosaurus. It's going to have a tight advantage over Terry, so it's going to be a problem for Gossi here. Backing up the Amargosaurus, we've got the Steg. Stegosaurus coming in here. Yeah, I think that type advantage might give Chain Knights the edge here. Well, there's no might, it does. <laughs> okay, so, Chain Knights wants to swap when HP is below half. Gozzy in the red, and I'll remove my notes. So I don't need them, because there's no terrain advantage and no blitz type effects. Oop, that's a tie. Starting off with a tie there. Tie suit the Amarga, though. It is charge type, I believe. Ooh, getting the first hit on the board there from Chair Knights. Ooh, a lovely support effect from the Steg. With Barrier coming in there, and a strong start from Chair Knights. But remember, the Godsman has that Death Fire. But well, we all know what Death Fire can do. Although, based on his health, I don't think we're going to see it in this match. Okay, we're definitely not. But it does mean Gozzi will attempt to swap out with Terry. He was another tie, and that means Terry is going down. Oh no! Disaster for Gozzi! But the Dino Stuffer comes in to save the day. Oh wow. Wow. That is relief. If that crit a hit. Gozzy. Oh my, hang on, my humidifier's beeped. Unplug that real quick. <laughs> oh no. Ooh, Gozzy getting his first hit of the match. Ceratosaurus coming in here. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Earth Barrier effect, but it does mean the Amargosaurus's HP is below half, so Chain Knights will be attempting a swap here. And he's getting the swap. Oh yeah, softening me. He's going to definitely soften up the Ceratosaurus. Ooh, maybe Archaeopteryx Charm will activate here because the Ceratosaurus is getting debuffed. So it should activate. Let's find out. Indeed it does. Oh, he has a pathetic amount of health. So maybe the health regeneration is random. The tie. I mean, what isn't random is that Cheer Knights is in control of this match. And Cheer Knights is probably about to win this match. No Dino Stuffer this time, and it's bonus point win incoming for Cheer Knights. And a much better start than they had last time. Well, I think it was, they lost like their first three matches. And then they got like, a, then they had like that epic come from behind victory against Mouse, and then yes, crazy times. But this time, Chain Knight starting with a bonus point win. 
and Gossy just didn't, it really didn't happen. Right, on to our next matchup then. Right, this should be interesting. Ooh, we're in the Alpha Arena. I think the first time, for the first time in this tournament, we are in the Alpha Arena. Well, which means there'll be no terrain advantage or terrain disadvantage because neither of our guys have an Alpha Dinosaur. Right, anyway, in the red corner for Team Africa, we have got the Afrovenator, the African Hunter. Looking good there. Backing up the Afrovenator, we got a Ranosaurus. Can Team Africa follow other bot teams in this tournament and get an impressive win? Or will they get shredded like Team South America did? Sigoi! Now this Afrovenator does have the quick strike, so it will be starting with scissors. Right, as for Dino fans, in the blue corner, we got the very blue Paki Rhinosaurus. Paki Rhinosaurus star! This Paki Rhinosaurus can be quite a problem. Both of our combatants want to swap out when HP's below half. Backing up the Paki Rhinosaurus, we have the Armatus. Right, I don't mean I don't think I'll need my notes. I know how quick strike works. We hit the we hit the scissor sign on ten. Every time the Afro the match starts, or the Afro Venita comes in. Or swap cell. Right, we're ready. Hit the button on ten. <laughs> Will the Afro Venita get off our quick strike? Oh, 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 the answer to that is taking his sweet ass time. Oh, come on, gay. Come on, random number generator. Sort yourself out. Let's try again, shall we? And nope, the answer to that is no. He's not getting the quick strike off. Instead, we're going to start with a tie. Ooh, but the Afrovenator does get the next hit. Ooh, and because it's re reform type, this will do a little bit more damage than normal. Boosh, boosh, boosh. Bashing the Paki Rhinosaurus into the dirt. Um, yes, I think that's below half, so the Paki Rhinosaurus will be attempting to swap. Oh, but he's not gonna get it! Instead, it's Team Africa starting strong. Oh, here comes the support effect. Fully healing the Afrovenator there. The Armatus is gonna get hit as well. I think one saving grace is if, if this Paki Rhinosaurus dies quick. We might see Spectral Armor if Armatus lasts long enough. Oh, well that's definitely lethal. <laughs> Ooh, but it's not. The Paki Rhinosaurus calling on the tag team there to save the day. Whoosh. Bye bye, Papa Shorash. Oh, bless. Bless his little soul. <laughs> Ooh, Paki Rhinosaurus still in it. Ooh, he gets a hit. Finally, Dino fans get a hit on the board. And yes, it is heroic type, so that rock did do more damage than normal. Wait, hang on a minute. This Paki Rhinosaurus isn't beaten yet. Look how crucial that tag team could be. Of course, then again, this would be Armatus filling up the bar for Spectral Armor, so... Eh. Double-edged sword there, I think. Ooh, it's a tie. And well, after a strong start from Team Africa, Dino fans coming right back in this match and taking the lead. <coughs> well, I'm a shot. Well, the Aranosaurus will get hit as well. And Team Africa, after a strong start, not looking good. Badoosh. Oh, it's another crit! Boosh! Oh, wow, an electric charge as well. Wait, hang on a minute, all of a sudden, this might be a bonus point win. Okay, no, it's no, no bonus point win. <laughs> The Paki Rhinosaurus eventually goes down, but this could be interesting because the Rhinosaurus, as I said, is heroic type, so if it gets off a crit, we well, go going for it. Ooh, is it if it gets off a crit, that crit's going to do a lot of damage, especially with a type advantage. Oh, this 
good to be lethal. This egg attack with the Strufio Rush could kill the Armatus. Okay, no, wow, I thought I'd be close, I thought I'd do more damage. Disappointed in Ronosaurus here, but look at that! And wow, this has been an insane match! But it's Armatus pulling away with the win, and it's Dino fans getting the job done. But Team Africa will get that losing bonus point because Armatus' HP is in the... Okay, it is in the red. <laughs> Ooh, the light recovery there tried to tease me, but it didn't work. So yes, Team Africa will still get the losing bonus point, but it's Dino fans for the win. Ooh, that was an insane match. Like, the, the damage output from both sides was ooh, awesome. Ooh, I enjoyed that one. Right, let's move on to our final match of this session, shall we? Oh, good, I can get rid of my notes, because we don't have terrain advantage yet. <laughs> right, in the red corner, for Hex, we have got Tank. This tank is, well, primarily built to be a tank. A highly resilient dinosaur. Probably going to be in a war. Could be a war of attrition, this matchup. Backing up tank, we got the Alpha Rajasaurus. So, yep, yeah, no terrain advantages or disadvantages here. Neither of our guys have a secret dinosaur. This Alpha Rajasaurus is. Pretty much the opposite of tank, built for more attack mindedness. Right, in the blue corner, for Mr. Dinosauria returning to my tournaments, we have Tajongosaurus. This Tajongosaurus is primarily all about the crit. And well, what a crit it is, look at that maximum powered rock roller there. I think even with tank super resilience, this Tajongosaurus is going to do damage. Backing up the Tijongasaurus, we have the Super Displetosaurus. The Awaken Mode on 3. Interestingly enough, doesn't have any super moves. Which I think will help Mr. Dinosauria based on the abundance of water dinosaurs in this tournament. And water dinosaurs are the most common dinosaurs in this tournament, so yeah. Interesting strategy. Wish I thought of it. <laughs> right. Ooh, start with a tie. Okay, so Hex wants to swap when HP is below half. Dinosauria in the red. Ooh, tank opening up with a crit, but the dino stuffer's gonna deny it. I think you'll still get a defense boost off, though. Might get a nerf barrier, too. Oh, no, he doesn't get anything off. <laughs> Good dino stuffer usage there, denying the crit. And oh, we're back to ties. Yeah, this is going to be an attritional battle. <laughs> Unless the Tijongasaurus gets off a crit, then it won't be. But it is Tank getting the first hit of the match. Defense boost there, and an earth barrier. Good start from Hex. Ooh, a very good start. The Tajongasaurus yet to get going. Trying that crit, but it's not really happening for him. More defense boost usage. I think the Tajongasaurus is going to need to tack out here. Oh, and he does. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Ooh, what is this? We got a strawberry cake. Oh, look at it. Look at the drool and he's like, am, am, am. Happy birthday, Tajongasaurus. Ooh, healing up there. Impressive from Dinosauria. Eating up the Earth Barrier as well with a weak hit. That is crucial because the Dathletosaurus comes in. Okay, that's once. Ooh, it's a tie. Ooh, is tank below half? I think just above it. Well, they're getting a the hit anyway. Boosh! They're probably going to get an Earth Barrier off. I think the Awaken Mode might be needed here to take out Tank. Which is crazy, because she's, she's just got like over half her health left. Okay, now it's definitely below half. Daskletosaur is getting a hit there. Boosh! 
eating up the earth barrier. But you know what time it is now. It's time for the awaken mode. Oh, hang on a minute. We got an earth barrier support effect. Elementor Fusion! Oh, it's, I like this Theosaurus' design. It looks really nice. Okay, now they'll attempt to swap. Oh, the awaken mode failed! Tank gets the hit and swaps out and he's going to have a chance to heal. Well, Earth Barrier was kind of wasted there because the Despreosaurus is going to lose up at itself. Wow, this is really a war of attrition. Neither side able to land a killer blow. But I think Hex with that might have just turned the screw. The swap failed, which means this Plenosaurus is in for the long haul. Ooh, gets another hit on the board though. The attack boost could help it. It needs to get a crit, really. If Dinosauria wants to get back in this contest, they're gonna need to get a crit. Ooh, and they do! And with the attack boost maxed up, I think this could be lethal for our Alpha Rajasaurus. Boosh! Oh, look at that! Wow, this has been a, such an even contest. Ooh, maybe not anymore. Does Fleetosaurus... Well, it's crit. It's overkill. Well overkill. But he is going to get a cheeky little hit on tank. The Rajasaurus didn't really get... Didn't really happen for the Raj. And now I'd probably say Dinosauria is in the lead. All the swappage has been completed. Oh yeah, he's definitely turned the screw. Just Pretosaurus has the momentum now. Ooh, could that be crucial? It denies... Dinosauria, the possible bonus point win. Although they have guaranteed... Well, I wouldn't say they haven't guaranteed it yet because Tank does have a heal move. Which I think is curry and rice. Yes, it is. Ooh, it's high. Oh, well, speak of the devil. Here comes the curry and rice. Ooh, we're gonna amp up Tank here. Heal her up. And she's gonna get another hit. Oh, wow, look at that. And that, in fact, will put Hex back in the lead. And the Nerve Barrier. Has Hex just stolen this match's momentum just at a critical time? Wow, this has been a really good match. See, this is why it should be not one-sided massacres. And yeah, that's... Is our game over? Yes, it is. So, after slugging away at each other, it is Hex that claims the victory. But that was a very good match, and a very good way to conclude round one for this group. Right, let's have a look where everyone's standing. Well, that is how group F looks, ladies and gentlemen. We have Chair Knights at the top with our bonus point win over Gozzi. Hex, in, Hex and Dino fans getting off to winning start. Team Africa getting that losing bonus point against Dino fans. And then we have Mr. Dinosauria and Gozzi at the bottom. Right, let's have a look at our matchups for round two, shall we? So, round two, we'll see Dino fans going up against Hex. Ooh, interesting clash at the top there. Cheer Knights going up against Mr. Dinosauria. Ooh, could be a tough one for Cheer Knights. And then Gozzi going up against Team Africa. So, a good chance for Gozzi to bounce back. Right, that's going to conclude this session here, so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, thanks for watching, and stay tuned next time so you don't miss out on future tournament matches. And until then, this is Streamer Gamer, signing out. Mm -hmm.